Hello folks, I'm over in South Wales in the Brecon Beacons and uh, it's been absolutely raining in sheets all day. So uh, I've not gone out walking today, but um, just before I have a bit of uh, tea, I thought I'd have a muck about with uh, some Mesh-tastic stuff. Now I've got a plan uh, with Mesh-tastic. just look at your use case. Um, a lot of it's all about distance and things like that, but um, I actually want a sort of use case as in, that's my node you can see the, the writing on the top, Freebird 104. And that's my portable one. That's just a standard Mesh-tastic on a half decent power bank, Freebird 104. Now that goes in the top of my backpack and I just go off walking. Now I've had a fair bit of success in this area with that. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've managed to get a couple of messages into um, the Swansea Mesh. So uh, in an area that's quite often uh, devoid of mobile phone signal, that's actually quite useful. So it gave me an idea to buy another one of these. It gives me three in total. I've got one back at home that's doing a good job uh, relaying messages between uh, a couple of uh, towns on the South Wales coast. They can't see each other due to terrain, but they're bouncing through my um, node on North Somerset coast and linking up quite nicely. So that's back there doing that 24-7. So while I'm away, I thought I'd um, get Freebird 104 going. And particularly when I'm away with my missus, I've got another one, I'm going to call it Basebird 104, okay? So uh, I've got that one at the moment stuck in the window with some blue tack in the vehicle. I'm pretty remote, there's no mobile phone signal here to speak of, apart from a little bit in just the right sort of location. So uh, I thought I'd give it a try and I'm hoping to go up the hills tomorrow and I'm going to try and see if I can see Basebird 104 either directly or indirectly from uh, up in the mountains. So at the moment... Um, Basebird 104 is in front of the car, and that's the only node that I'm currently seeing. The next node down hasn't been seen for 46 hours, so I'm picking up nothing at the moment. So I thought what I'd do is fashion up... Um, I haven't got much at my disposal in the vehicle, but I thought I'd fashion up uh, some sort of uh, external enclosure so I can perhaps get um, Basebird up on the roof for tomorrow. So all that is is a standard water bottle. This is really... Um, well, let me put you down for a moment. This is really um, ass end stuff, but um, it's all I've got at my disposal for any sort of waterproof enclosure. Anyway, I've cut the bottle in half, okay? And the idea is I put the mesh tastic inside that half. It will splay enough to fit the mesh tastic. Base bird 104, okay, possibly, if not, it'll have to go in that way. And uh, then all I need to do is just put one part of that bottle inside the other, which I can't do one handed, but you'll see when it's done. Then I'll tape it all up. I've slotted the lid so I can get a wire to it. Then I'll run that down into one of the power banks in the vehicle, and then that should um, keep um, Base Bird 104 running for quite a long time so I'm going to do that get it all sealed up and in there and uh, I'll try and leave it on overnight to see if it picks up any nodes whether they be transient ones passing through on the road or somebody up in the air or whatever and see what I pick up and then tomorrow I'm going to see if I can uh, ping a few messages back here a few DMs and uh, perhaps Basebird will mesh in with uh, something else in the meantime and I can get some messaging back, either single hop or multi hop. We'll have to wait and see. I'm going to get in somewhere with it. So that's uh, Basebird 104 Mesh Tastic in that bottle. Mesh Tastic in a bottle. Uh, sorry about that, but I couldn't help myself. Anyway, so I've um, sealed that up with some uh, tape and I've um, glanded off the end there with um, some uh, blue tack for a bit of a strain relief so hopefully that'll be watertight enough to uh, see it over the next sort of uh, 24 hours outside obviously you'd have to have a pretty smooth brain to think that that would be uh, good enough for um, a permanent outdoor fixture but um, needs must and that's all I have at my disposal so uh, it's very much uh, a sort of um, temporary uh, emergency stroke whatever you want to call it um, type deployment anyway let's see how I get on see if I can hear or C nodes a little bit further afield than this one. Let's have a go. Okay, 
that's up and running on the roof. Unfortunately, uh, Bluetooth is not penetrating into the vehicle, so uh, I'm not seeing it from within the vehicle. I can see it from outside. So uh, the Bluetooth interface between the two is not working at the moment, and it's not going to work because I'm not going out there to try and uh, use it. But I'll leave it running for a couple of hours up there to see if it um, manages to pick up anything uh, anywhere else other than uh, my own local node. Now that's um, going down into my Blue Etty power bank there, so that's plenty of power to uh, keep that going for days and days and days, I, I would hope. So uh, there we are. I've got um, got the thing deployed. I'm going to see now if I can see anything from Freebird 104, obviously, uh, over your sort of LoRa signal. We'll see, and perhaps I can do something with that. But um, yeah, um, so you've got to look at your use case with uh, Meshtastic, and I'm seeing it as something that uh, I can use to maintain comms back to base or into a local mesh. I'm not really on a a mission to, to work massive distances. It's all about DX sometimes with uh, radio enthusiasts and things, but I see this more as a tool than a potential tool than uh, something that is uh, more of a hobby type thing. So that's me. What you want to do with it is entirely up to you. But um, there we are. We'll see what we can do. Ultimately, I think I'll have Freebird 104, Basebird 104, and perhaps Mobile Bird 104, or Moby Bird 104. And something like that might change the names of them, I don't know. And uh, get some sort of half decent sort of mesh going for myself. Might even get my old man one as well. And uh, we can all mesh together, perhaps on a private channel or through or through DMs. So uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Right, so, so yeah. Good news is, is I'm able to see Basebird 104 now from Freebird. This is the phone that's um, Bluetooth into Freebird 104, which is just up there at the moment. And of course, Basebird's up on the roof. It shows it hasn't died a death of a thousand raindrops yet. But unfortunately, I can't Bluetooth into that from there. I'd have to go outside. But um, certainly no reason why in the future I can't um, perhaps peg something in the ground or put up in a tree or something like that and uh, Bluetooth into it, and obviously the signal would penetrate the glass okay for Bluetooth. So uh, local admin, local comms, Bluetooth to base bird, non-existent, but I am seeing it on the mesh via this um, Freebird 104 node. So uh, let's see if anything other than my nodes show up, because number three on the list there hasn't been seen for 47 hours. So we'll give it some time, and we'll see what shows up, if anything. Okay, folks, right, let's have a look at um, some uh, updates, which is next to nothing, i.e. no new nodes have appeared in the last sort of, half an hour. But I'll leave it up to run in. See, more than anything, it's a test for tomorrow. So that phone, as I say, is, is linked in with um, Freebird 104, and that's interfaced with um, Basebird up there through the, uh, the LoRa network. It's meshed in together. But I'm not seeing... Uh, over the Bluetooth connection from the app directly up to Basebird through the roof, which is a shame, shame. But um, I've been giving it some thought. Of course, I've got the wire coming through the window over there. So um, I have got a laptop here somewhere. So I could possibly, if I could find the room, etc., I could um, plug that into the laptop. The laptop uh, USB would power the node and I can uh, access the node through the uh, Meshtastic uh, web client through serial connection so that would uh, be a fail safe way of connecting and also um, I think if I go for a more permanent mobile node on the roof of the vehicle or whatever I want to do I think instead of using Bluetooth I could use Wi-Fi so I could um, most likely get on to um, base product there through Wi-Fi because normally I've got some sort of mobile router or a tethered or hotspotted phone so I can get um, base bird attached to that uh, mobile Wi-Fi network of mine and then uh, same goes with the tablet be on the same network and I can interface with it that way as opposed to Bluetooth which is exactly what I do at home actually with the uh, the base node back there anyway I'll keep an eye on that and uh, take it from there really 104 check it in for UK CBTV right I'm out today up in those uh, rather uh, 
nasty looking mountains today. That's just a foothill, that one. But uh, yeah, this should be fun. Hell of a lot better weather than yesterday, but uh, hey ho. It's quite warm though, and uh, I am seeing glimpses of sunshine now and again with the occasional monsoon strength uh, rain in between. Anyway, up there is the base station I fashioned at that bottle. Up there, so that's uh, on and running. Not picked up any local nodes at all. So I'm not going to be able to get into any sort of mesh, like the Swansea mesh, and get out to this one unless something changes while I'm up there. However, however, I'm going to try some uh, messages back to this one from my Freebird 104 portable node, which is residing in the top of my backpack. So uh, I'll see how we get on with line of sight. Obviously through those trees is already line of sight, but um, I'll see if I can rattle an occasional uh, signal message down through the valley or from the top. Now, um, I don't know if I'll get up there today or not. I have to wait and see, but this one peaks out at 2,631 feet, 801, 802 meters above sea level. I'm down at about 300, so I've got 500 meters of ascent to go and up through either a ridge route or a valley route there or back or a mixture of the two. So uh, wish me luck. I've also got a 446, but uh, really this is about mesh tastic. Let's see if it has actually got some use for me when I set up a base station and uh, perhaps uh, a roaming node or two. Okay, catch you on route. Okay, this is the proper job portable really, isn't it? Um, it's starting to rain now, so just stopped off on the really steep bit. I still got line of sight, that's the campsite, but I'll uh, actually be behind trees, my base camp. It's uh, the road next to the church and up through, so I'm not line of sight because there's trees in the way. And uh, I am getting messages back to uh, Baseburg. Let's do one now. DM direct message. Conditions aren't good, so please excuse the camera work. So we'll do a test too. Okay. And this is just with it in the top of the the bag there. And it's come up with the tick next to the person there. So I'm getting messages back here, no problem at all. Now what you might find when you get really high you can get higher up than the signal sometimes. So sometimes it's best to sort of not quite be at the peak of something and just lean forward a bit. I don't know if you've uh, noticed that some uh, cell phone, mobile phone towers, when they're on the side of a hill, they do angle the uh, aerials, the antennas down a little bit because you can actually get underneath the, uh, the signal and vice versa. You can get over the top of signals and underneath them as you sort of go much higher up uh, UH, UHF, etc. You find that with 446. You can get nothing on the top, but just come down the hill a little bit, angle downwards, we'll get to the edge of a hill, angle downwards and you start picking up a load of stuff. So uh, just take a bit of playing around sometimes, but so far so good. Two messages back and uh, accepted so far. Right, I'm going to carry on because uh, it's uh, getting a little bit wet and it's probably best to keep moving. Okay, conditions are rough up here actually. So uh, yeah, I've got out of line of sight now. The bag is just there with the... Uh, Antenna, the mesh tastic sticking out the top. Uh, I've managed to get a message back to base, even though now I'm out of direct line of sight, which is quite impressive, to be honest. It's right down over that uh, hill there, you can see, down in that valley. So that's impressive. I'm pleased with that. So uh, looking at uh, what we've got on the screen, probably won't be able to see it. Let's try and put a little bit of brightness on there. Is there an outdoor mode on this brightness? Come on. It's really difficult to do stuff when you're outdoors like this in high winds. Right, I've got a bit of brightness on the screen now. It's quite warm today, so I'll give it that. Okay, let's see. So, uh, you've got Freebird 104 there, that's me. Basebird 104, that's uh, base camp. And we've got an MW7 APX there appeared now, so... Uh, He's there, and that's I picked up an extra node look, so uh, it would be possible now from this situation that if there was a problem down in that uh, camp down there, where there's no mobile phone signal, to ping a message up to me, and I could ping a message out through uh, MW7 there, and he's probably in another mesh, maybe the Swansea mesh or something. So uh, it's good, actually, it's good. So, um, yeah, I'm going to trek on. It's way, way up through there, 
miles up through there. So uh, I'll keep checking in from time to time. Okay, I managed to get a message back from here. We're on to test five now, back to base camp. I couldn't get test four back. That was down in that valley down there. That's a big ask. But uh, I haven't quite got line of sight by the look of it. But I certainly haven't. So uh, that's quite impressive. So uh, I tried a, a message on long fast just now and it's a fail so um, I'm gonna try another one see if anybody starts coming back to me on long fast so I picked up a couple of nodes so I'll see if anybody comes back to me on that and uh, I'll keep tracking until I can get as high up as I can before I drop down into the valley and see how we get on okay guys I'm uh, getting hit by horizontal hailstones at the moment uh, there we go. Anyway, I'm probably up about uh, 700 metres. I've had no replies yet on uh, long fast, even though uh, I'm getting into the mesh and I'm seeing a lot of nodes, but uh, no replies. Uh, I've managed to ping a few directly back to uh, base camp, but uh, my main priority now is to get to the uh, shelter on the top of Amber Heinyog, which is along there, down a very deep valley, and then back up the other side. So... Uh, yeah, I have to say, this is not for everyone, this type of thing, so uh, do be very cautious. Okay, I've got to keep going, otherwise uh, I might get a little bit hypothermic. I must keep moving. Okay, folks, I'm on the top of Amber Hanyard Mountain now. There's a trick point. I'm in the storm shelter at the moment. Uh, weather's not great. It's a damn sight burn. It was last time I came up here. I got driven off by uh, a really bad uh, hailstorm back in September. So uh, there we go. There's a trick, 2,630 something feet 802 meters i think it is asl so uh yeah i've got the um the node freebird 104 out of the bag and up and running i'm seeing a load a load of nodes but um i fired out a few um messages and they've all got ticks so i'm getting into into meshes with it but um no reply i did get a reply last time and the time before I came up um, to uh, this sort of area. So it's a shame I haven't had any replies this time. That is uh, a bit of a shame. But uh, there we go. Um, looking at uh, Base Bird. I pinged a few DMs. They've got ticks next to them. But I don't think for a second those messages will make it back. Just means it's got into a no to test six. Test, six. Uh, test seven didn't get into anything. For test five, I got in by the look of it, so I'm expecting to see that message back there when I get back to uh, camp. And test three, test two, test one, and that's fairly impressive because um, certainly the last test, test five, was over a fair bit of terrain. So uh, that is quite impressive to be able to uh, get back to um, the base camp down in that valley. That is quite good. Anyway, no replies on that. So let's have a quick look what we got on uh, on here. Uh, there's me, Freebird 104. See, they're all right up to date nodes. 37 kilometres, that node, that uh, GW1 node. Uh, MW0. It's midweek, so I guess people aren't near their... Uh, their kit, Whiskey Repeater, Jamie Mobile, Flewellyn, three hops away, another repeater, one hop away. Now always do double check whether you actually do need to um, set your load as a repeater. Sometimes it's a beneficial thing, sometimes it's not. Have a look at the comms channel on, uh, I actually put a link in below to uh, a very good explanation on how sometimes repeaters can actually just... Um, rob people of hops and that does happen down uh, to my my node actually there's a couple of stations could actually get directly into my node but they're actually going through repeaters and it's robbing them of hops so uh, just double check repeaters can be great but they can also be somewhat detrimental so yeah we got uh, hops away one two two hops 
one hot 35 kilometers there. Forest Vass, Ocean View, Yagi, Morriston, that's down Swansea Way, three hops away. One hop away there, no distance shown. Two hops. Two hops. That's Base Bird there, look. I've tried from here, as you could see, and I'm getting into a mesh, but I don't think the messages will get back. Um, I was seeing Hales Owen. Uh, these are getting a bit old now. It's two days old, so that's a waste of time looking at those. I was seeing Hales Owen in Birmingham uh, just now, so I might try and go up to the trig point before I start heading back and um, see if I can uh, get a few more. It is actually slightly better for the trig. So uh, I'm going to go up there a minute and see what we can do. Okay, I've got the node up on the top of the trig now. It's a shame nobody's coming back to me on long fast. That is that is a pity because um, obviously if I was um, calling out for assistance or something, then I wouldn't be getting a reply, which is a little bit of a shame. Um, Hales Owen there. I might try and DM that. I'm not usually one to um, DM, but that looks pretty good. Let's try a trace route on that one. If that's a single hop. I don't know if it's going to show me that. Trace route's always um, funny, isn't it? We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, I might try and ping that um, Helzo in a, a DM. I know I can get into Swansea mesh from here because I've had a couple of replies from Swansea way, uh, way before. But um, there we go. Anyway, I'm not going to hang around up here too much longer because it's... Uh, it's not exactly great conditions, and I want to get back to camp for a curry and a cut of tots of whiskey. So, uh, if there's anything to update you on, I will. Okay, I'm on my way back now. I just um, down in the valley, and I've um, sent a test message number ten back to uh, Base Bird, and uh, it's got the person and the tick. So that is uh, highly probable that the uh... oh, it's windy. Highly probable that the message has made it. And that's way down through the valley here. So that's uh, absolutely excellent. And if we go over to... I did send a, a DM to Hells Owen. So if you did get that, uh, hopefully that's a bit of information for you. And if we look at this, there was one called Hanbury an hour ago, 113.1 kilometers away with only one hop okay so that was impressive unfortunately uh i must have been making my way off by the time that one came through the only disappointment really is uh no takers on long fast despite the number of nodes so that's uh disappointing but uh, apart from that um that's what i've been seeing you can probably discount the Cardiff and the Bath ones, but everything else is what I've picked up as I've uh, been walking around today. Cardiff and Bath, I would have picked those up when I was setting the node up. Everything else is what I've picked up since I've been walking the hills. So um, certainly up towards Birmingham, that's quite impressive. Okay, weather is absolutely appalling. It's time I got back to the car. Right, so last test, I think, from Eshtastic. Uh, still a little way down there to the... Uh, can't quite make out what I'm looking at there, but um, it looks like the, the sort of few buildings in and around the campsite. But uh, all the way down through this valley, there's been um, patchy signal at best. But I was really pleased to get that uh, last message uh, down through. So just imagine now if my missus was back at the campsite. She isn't. She's back in the, uh, in the warm at home. So uh, I'm just simulating this message, but um, see now I'm here, I'm probably about half an hour away from camp and I've got get yeah, kettle on love. And so we've pinged that one off. And it's got the person and the tick. So uh, I'll uh, check those messages when I get back and I can pretend my missus is back there putting the kettle on, even though she's not. Okay, catch you back from camp. Okay, folks, I've been out since 
30 this morning. I'm caught back at 7 o'clock tonight through some pretty ropey weather. That's my curry on the go there. So while that's doing, let's have a look at the results of today's mesh-tastic efforts back to uh, base. So uh, let's have a look. I've been outside and downloaded them all over Bluetooth. So I can't get connection Bluetooth through the roof of the vehicle, but uh, I'll fix that. I'll go over to Wi-Fi or I'll use the uh, cable direct. Anyway, today's experiment, we've got 12 minutes past 12. Test one has come through. Lighting's not very good here, so sorry for the focus. Test two has come through. Test three has come through. Test four has come through. Test five has come through. Test six has come through. No seven, no eight, no nine. But uh, 1656, I got test 10 come through. And that very last one there, I did uh, up in the valley. Yet, yet, a lot of love at 1742. So I'm really pleased with that. That's some pretty good uh, comms, especially from that valley, because there's no mobile phone signal in that valley. So the last two, pretty damn good comms, to be honest. So really pleased with that. So uh, that'll get tried out again. Um, also pleased with uh, seeing those nodes right the way up per uh, Birmingham Way. That was good. I don't think I got a reply to the DM I sent. That I probably didn't get through, to be honest. I didn't get a, a person. I just got the cloud with a tick in it. So it just means it had got into some uh, some node somewhere. A um, little bit disappointed nothing came back to me on long fast. I'm sure that um, would have um, appeared in, uh, in a few nodes uh, messages. A long fast, but uh, it is midweek, so I guess uh, nobody was uh, by their uh, node or whatever to answer. I already really didn't want to answer me because I don't know. <laughs> Probably thought, oh, it's that 104 again because I've been out there twice before and I got answers on both occasions. That's why I'm a little bit disappointed with that. But apart from that, I am actually very pleased indeed. So uh, thumbs up to uh, Meshtastic today and I will be persevering with it. Catch you soon.